Senta aqui do lado da mamãe. Isso. Muito bem. Muito bem. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Suelen Baum and today I'm gonna give you my 27 week update for my pregnancy and this is Samuel my toddler he is two years old almost two years old he's gonna be two years old uh, next week on the November 6th I'm gonna start this video talking about uh, what symptoms I had during this week and I don't know how long Sam is gonna be with me here but I have the impression that the baby is transverse because he moves in both sides and uh, the lateral side uh, in my uh, the laterals of my belly and so I have the impression that the baby is in this position like transverse but I don't know I could be wrong and I am gonna add I'm gonna ask the my doctor uh, at my next appointment and I'm gonna ask whoever is gonna see me I'm not sure but I think I'm gonna see the midwife in my next appointment and I'm gonna ask her if what is the positioning of the baby if he's in transverse position and I know and I'm aware that babies they change position all the time and by my appointment it's very possible that the baby is gonna be in a completely different position like maybe head down or whatever but I'm, I'm just wanna ask her just by curiosity to see what what is uh, the base position and I'm gonna ask her about the kicking and see what she says like why do I feel like that he kicks here and here at the same time it's kind of weird I did not have that with Samuel like I felt more he he would always kick more towards the front of my belly so um, I feel also I felt this week that the baby was uh, hitting uh, right below my breast and he was kicking my rib or pressing or something uh, we went to another town so I had a, a, to travel for two hours during those two hours that I was sitting I felt a lot of pressure and, and painful um, it was the discomfort it was not like painful wow like super painful but I felt very uncomfortable here in my ribs right below my my breast and so maybe baby I, I think baby was pressing against my ribs so that was the day after I was complaining about my uh, of the baby being kicking both sides and then the next day I had the uh, uh, baby pressing against my rib um, and my weight is 126.6 pounds so this is my current weight this week of 27 right after I had those two episodes where I was feeling often that the baby was kicking both sides of my belly and then I felt the pain on my ribs and pressure on my ribs right after that okay so right after I had those two symptoms the first one that I said about kicking in the both sides of my belly and then the later I had the other day the uh, pressure on my ribs then the third symptom is also related to baby movements. I actually felt that the baby actually felt a lot of uh, pressure around my belly button and I actually found painful. Uh, so <laughs> it's funny that I complained before that oh the baby only kicks on my sides only on the lateral on, on the sides of my belly it's kind of weird because Sammy always used to kick on the front and then right after that I had the kick, uh, the pressure on the ribs and then the other day now I felt the pressure on the belly button so I was like why did I complain like now that now I feel that the baby is moving and starting to uh, kick other parts of my belly because of that pressure that I had around my belly button I felt that I couldn't be on my foot for a long time and I was uh, I had to sit down and rest it was very painful for me to be standing and I wanted to cook I remember that I was gonna make some lunch for us and I just couldn't be standing for more than two minutes it was a lot of pressure 
near to the belly duct, uh, near the belly button, but in and down. So it's not just the belly duct button, but it was uh, belly button and down. And that pressure below the belly button, it was almost like that uh, sensation that the baby is really engaged and down and uh, there was like a lot of pressure. So I don't know if the baby was all concentrating that area and he was really low during that day. Uh, I think I really thought when that happened to me, I thought, I think it's the positioning of the baby. Um, because later, maybe around 30 minutes later, I started feeling much better and I started feeling that uh, the baby moved in a different position or something and I didn't felt I didn't feel that pressure below uh, uh, around my belly button and, and lower so um, I still don't know what would exactly happen but I do think it's due to the positioning of that baby during that moment and I just during those 20 minutes or or so I could not be standing up. I had to be sitting and I had to wait and until I felt better and then later on I could I could get up and I could walk and I could do what I needed to do. Uh, but basically this, this, these were my symptoms of uh, my 27 week of pregnancy. Aside from my symptoms, this week was a very busy week because we celebrated uh, Samuel's birthday we had his birthday party this week and my thoughts were all concentrated about getting uh, everything planned, everything prepared. We got a bounce house and we rented and we were lucky enough that it, I was afraid it was going to be too cold and it was going to be rainy and we, we were very lucky that the, the day we rented and the day we used to uh, the bounce house it was actually a perfect weather you could be with short sleeves outside there was it was no rain it, there was no rain it wasn't cold at all it was actually perfect weather we also had a beautiful birthday party we had a cake uh, very well designed and super pretty cupcakes we got food my family helped me to bring food so I asked my family to help me out and each member of my family was able to bring a plate and everything went and worked out and it was a it was a perfect birthday party for Samuel. I had a video done and I hope you guys like it. If you want to see how was uh, Samuel's birthday party, please go check it out and watch that video. And I really thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to receive notifications for my next videos. Don't forget to watch my bump in the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Bye! You wanna say bye Mika? Bye! Say bye! 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 Bye!